hello how you doing today so today i am here to it's not an unboxing it's already unboxed i could not wait to open it but i just got this special special package from my friend april and um you can find her on tiktok at paper treasures or youtube at paper treasures by april or facebook at april acrylics so i purchased two journals from her these two right here and i cannot tell you how this made my day when i finally got it so when i saw this journal it looked smaller <laughs> and when i got it and saw how big it was i was like yes i just love big books i i always try to like get smaller and smaller with my own journals but i just i always end up with something big so i was so excited and i just want to show you look at this beautiful tassel it has a cute little eiffel tower which i love which is why i got the other one <laughs> but i just want to share it with you this was made from um paper bag is this not the coolest thing ever so she put another beautiful beautiful like pocket thing in here made from um a paper bag as well which i think is so freaking cool i love it it's so beautiful and yeah look at this look at this big big pocket i love it the maps i asked her to sign it for me i don't have a lot of journals in my collection but when i do get them i just recently started asking the creator to like sign it for me and so she did that i love this like ledger like facts i don't know i i think this is like a an accounting i don't know i know i've seen this paper before and i love how much of it it's in here that's another thing that i really love about this journal i have so much writing space like tons this is so beautiful A cute little greeting card in there. Look at all this writing space. Even drawing if I want to. Or like um, mixed media in here. I have so many possibilities with this. And I love it. I am obsessed with this. Like I have to make some of these. These are so cute. I love how like sturdy they are. Cute bookmark so i'm not gonna make this video too long but i just want to give you like a nice little flip through so um if you guys would like to get a journal from her you can reach her again like i said at um paper treasures on tiktok or pa paper treasures by april on youtube or facebook you can find her at april acrylics I love this. I just love, love, love that. I love the whole thing. This made my day so much when I received it. Like, I had no idea how much I needed this until I got it. <laughs> I was like, yes. Just looking through all the details. That's the, the most fun part of getting an, a journal from somebody else is like you get to explore all the little things all the different details like that i love this and it has a couple of little ephemera pieces in there Eiffel Tower again and look at that I love this little flip thing 
I don't know, but I really love creating journals. But I've noticed that I'm not so much into like the little details. Um, I kind of get stuck like trying to come up with new ideas and like tuck spots and stuff like that. So this is a very old piece. So she put a protection on this. I love it. Beautiful. So I always do admire how other people like add so many nice little elements and stuff like this. When I'm creating, for some reason, I just like, I get stuck. I'm, I, I think I enjoy making the covers and choosing the papers a lot more than the ephemera part of it. So I think that stops me from making a lot of journals. I need to just accept who I am and what I like to make. And I'm pretty sure that somebody else would be very happy to add all of those details. So that's something I'm working on. Look at this. Ah, this was, I thought I opened this before, wait. This does open, yeah, it does. Look at this. This is such a cool idea. I would have never thought of this. Look, it's the whole booklet, the whole map. That is such a cool way to use this. I love it. And every time I see something that's like cool like this, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna do that. Yeah, right. I never end up doing it. I just completely like blank out when I'm making my own journal. And I'm like, what do I do? But yes, so beautiful. Little pocket, my envelope in there. But yes, I, this was so worth it. I so love this journal. And I know that I can get a lot of writing done in here. And it gives me so much space to like add my own details. I love it. Look at this. I love it. So yes. I have more to show you. Look at this. Big pocket. Love it. Look at this. So, that's the first journal I got from her. And then I also got this one. I have never made a tassel. I, I always say I'm going to do it, but... I haven't done it yet. So beautiful. Love it. The fabric is so soft. I love it. I love the Eiffel Tower. It's one of my favorite things. I'll go to Paris someday. So she left a little note for me. Like I asked her to. the little clip so cute and it has like a little like window on it you see when I see these things I'm like oh I want to do that I can't sit still enough long enough to do little things like this look at this <laughs> enjoy the little things I love those um, envelope flip through thingies Here's another one. It's a cute little hidden spot. Your heart is safe. Enjoy the little things. And this is another bag pocket. <laughs> I love little things. Nice pocket there. One second. 
This is another little window thingy. I love that. Oh, this is a big envelope. I had not noticed this last time I, I went through it. Love it. And this is another one. Oh no, this is like a card. So cute. And again, I love this. I'm not sure what card stock or she used, but um, I love that. Nice dyed paper. Of it. Beautiful. Yeah, so this definitely, oh look, cute little key. I love those little envelopes. This really made my day, just made me so happy. Look at this, beautiful. vellum pocket beautiful these take time you guys that's why I appreciate it so much because I know how much time all of this takes and love I love it. I love it so much. So that's going to be another beautiful part of my collection. And then, and then she surprised me with this beautiful, beautiful gift. Look at this. Like my heart melted when I saw this because like teal is one of my well it's my favorite color like i want it on everything and she's actually part of my design team so she has been working with a teal kit that i have and these are some elements from that kit so i just thought it was so nice to have something made with like one of my own kits beautiful i love how much space is in this little journal because it is little, but it has so much writing space. And I really like that. I love it. So much writing space. I have not been into junk journaling for that long. Probably over a year. So this, <laughs> this is so cute because I sent her this on a happy mail this was part of a challenge that i had in my group and she put it here and it was just so nice to see it on something just being used i love it um but yeah i think i'm coming to my style and i think this is more my style where i do put a lot of i'm, I'm very into the embellishment part of decorating a journal and the cover um and choosing the paper um, but the whole ephemera thing, I think, um, it might not be my thing. I'm going to keep trying, but I feel like I, it stops me from creating and I don't, I don't want that. So I'm going to just do what I like. Look at all this writing space. And all that teal. I love it. And look at this, another one of these things. I love how she makes this. I'm gonna ask her what she uses because this is so sturdy and so beautiful. I love it so much. 
this is part of my kit. Oh, look at this page. Oh, so cute. I love these. Yeah, I know I'm saying I love love, but I do. I do love, 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 love it. And she actually gave me this beautiful piece of fabric. She sent that too. And I can see she used it here. I love how she used it. So this is why I think it's so important to share with people and to support other sellers. Everyone has something different to bring to the table and everyone's creativity is different. And I'm telling you, when I got this, I I didn't know how much I needed that. Like it made my day. I've been going through a little bit of a rough time and um and that really made my day. Look, this was actually the tape that she used to close the table. And I saved it. And I'm going to use it. Yes, I am. I know I'm weird. But I really loved it. It's like a... What do they call it? Anyway. And then she also sent me this, which I had seen, but in person. It's so much more beautiful. <laughs> This was part of the Her Design Team project using um, my kit as well. And she made this beautiful, like, it's out of a bag as well. I need to start using bags. Like, wow. Isn't this gorgeous? I love it. I so, so love it. It's so beautiful. My favorite color, too. She sent me a lot of extra goodies. She also sent me these beautiful papers. And they are very, she said to be very gentle. They are vintage and fragile. But so beautiful. I, I, I don't even know where to use this. Like, I, I'm just going to save it because it's just so beautiful. This. She also sent my son a little um, happy mail with this and he was so excited. Isn't this gorgeous? I love it. The texture of that. That's probably going to go into one of my journals. And maybe this too. I love this. So that's it for sharing my goodies. Um, April, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I am so happy with my purchase. My beautiful journals. It's all mine. <laughs> so if you guys want to check her out or maybe order a journal, you can find her at on TikTok at Paper Treasures, on YouTube at paper treasures by april or facebook april acrylics okay well thank you guys for joining me and i'll see you later